An amusement park is a place that features rides and games to milk your wallet dry. And I like milking people. Wait, no, wait. This plot of land may look like an empty, barren wasteland to you right now, but my brother and I plan on flipping this into the world's greatest amusement park that we call Funland. And I won't stop until I milk every player dry. We did it again. What if we made it a tree house in the trees? We're gonna start laying some foundations here. Something basic like that. I'm gonna do another one right next to it over here. Cause you got a plan before you get in there and do the big build. That's gonna look really good. And then I'm gonna make a giant bridge all the way across to Isaac. So I think these two will be some of the mini games. And then I think maybe one more down there, but let's go ahead and start up here. So we're gonna go ahead and take off this layer. I'm gonna get the other one over there and get them connected. Cause I need to see this thing, how it actually looks before I go all in and build. Cause it might look really ugly. I like the design here, maybe like a bridge. So we're gonna go ahead and get some uh, crafting table here and then make some slabs out of it. And maybe this could be like part of the design. Let's try something like this. There you go, that's a little bridge. It's definitely like weird looking because the way it goes sideways, but it gets the job done. The problem is here, guys, we're gonna need an immense amount of wood and I don't know that this is gonna be enough to supply us with all the stuff we need. So I'm gonna use what I have and see what that gets us to. And it costs maybe like $12,000. Then we may have to get some, you know, a little foreshadow here. May have to do something about this wood issue. Stop. Woo. I need a way to get up there. So I'll do... What I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna place some signs down with my ideas as to what can go in each of these areas. This one's going to be our dart game. We'll charge people money to throw some darts. Maybe a shop. And we have literally just over 64 wood left to place and that's cost us $12,000. So I can tell you right now, we are not gonna have enough wood to pull this off. Let's go ahead and build this. I see this as like a little cabana right here. So I'm thinking something like that. And then on the top, I actually wanted to do leaves. So if I go back, grab some shears, I could then just get a bunch of leaves and then put a little leaf canopy up there. It would look really sick and blend right into the area. So I'm gonna go back to my base. Shears, uh, we can share these. Well, <laughs> there it goes, the shear. Okay, that's not bad. I'm thinking maybe we bring the canopy down a little bit, but I'm not sure how that'll look. Let's see. Yes, that's what I'm looking for. This is a great little template here to build other buildings off of in this fun land design. Ozzy, are you at your base? I am at my base. I'm making my rainbow sheep farm. All right, all right. I got something to show you when you're back. I think you're gonna like it. Oh, I can come look now, Zach. I can take a break. No, 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 not yet, not yet, not yet. Okay. I'm gonna work on making this bridge all the way across because I want them to come back and literally be like, bro, how did you even accomplish that? Problem is, we literally have no wood, but if I get my wood cutting level up to a higher level, I can absolutely decimate trees with a special wood cutting attack. It's called tree feller. I don't know if I have it yet. Do I have tree feller? I basically need to grind my wood cutting level because once I get it, it automatically will cut down trees from the bottom. I'm gonna grind these tree cutting levels right now and see what happens. We got a little bit, it's, it's good for now. So we are going to build all slabs. This is gonna be our bridge that goes all the way across to Isaac. It's gonna be literally borderline impossible to create, but it's going to look so good, Isaac will have his mind blown when he sees it. So let's go ahead and get working on this then immediately. Look at that, we got a bridge all the way across. Obviously there's no detail in it, but look at that. It centers perfectly on the sun between those trees. Now we gotta get the actual details in this. It's gonna be another doozy. Cause for this, we need a lot of fences. Sticks, 38. I'm just gonna buy some more wood. I'm gonna spend more money than I meant to on this. I'm gonna be honest with you, but I just cannot go mine right now. I'm in the zone. I'm making some good fences. We're going to be rich when this thing is on the market. Now, I don't know what Isaac's up to right now, but I hope he's making us a lot of rainbow wool because we're gonna need that for this place. Carnivals are colorful. All right, that actually is not bad. We've got a bridge. We can now walk from over here to the other side in fun, in fun land. So I'm gonna grab some torches by buying them because I have money to spend and I'm lazy now. So we are buying things. 36 torches for fun land coming right up. That is a decent start to a beautiful bridge. I don't want these to look exactly the same. I need this to look really good and marketable. Actually, this might make sense to make this our shop. So let's go ahead and turn that into the shop right here. So I'm not sure what I'm gonna sell yet here, but I still got this wood problem, bro. I need to find a better way to get wood. Like I'm gonna go show you guys this tree felling thing. It's a special move that breaks trees. That's what you're looking for. It's a one shot kill on a full tree. I mean, it's just an incredible move. That was a significant amount of wood. All right, let's go ahead and do something like this. So what I'm doing here is designing this in such a way that the sunset will still be centered right through this every single night. So we can still look out and see it, which will look really clean. And then uh, right here, we're gonna connect that with some slabs. And now we have like a really clean cabana here, which I'll just top off with some jungle leaves. And I think this will actually look really clean and cool. And then I'm gonna go see what Isaac's up to before I see if I can get some more money on here. To me, this looks really sick. I'm gonna add a little more leafage here, maybe. I don't know, something about that feels weird to me. Maybe, uh, maybe that? 
Dude, that's kind of nice. I think we have two options here. We can either go harvest a bunch of wood or make some more money to sell. That way we can just buy the wood. So if I collect my daily rewards here, we can go see really quickly if we get lucky. So I'm going to warp here to the crates. First, we're going to do our vote. See what we get. Oh, that's worth some money. That's worth like a little bit. I actually got, I'm going to keep it though because I need a sword. And a book of what? What was that book for? Sharpness too. Okay. I mean, it's, it's all right. It's all right. Let's see what we get for daily. Something good, baby. Something good. Something good. Oh, we got literal trash. All right. I got to go check out what Isaac's up to. Isaac, let's see the sheep farm you got. Oh, are you in here? Yeah. Show me what you're working on. Oh, look at this. I'm getting the dyes right now for my sheep sack. So this has been quite an investment. I want to say I've put 20,000 into it already. I mean, it's impressive. See, my problem is right now I'm not getting enough wood. Well, Zach, I think you need to make a wood farm then because I've invested in a sheep farm. So you should invest in a wood farm. I disagree completely with what he says. He's saying I should get a, a farm. What I really should do is collect some carrots here because if I sell these, I could buy the wood that I need. So all of that gave me about $6,000 and that was only one half. So that's literally like stacks of wood for doing basically nothing. I think we can really make this better and really become more efficient because each episode we are expanding it by the number of subscribers we gain. Last episode, we gained quite a few subscribers, which means we have quite a few expansions to be making here to this farm. Let's go ahead and go back to our base. So that'll be phase one is dirt. Phase two will be um, water. Phase three is planting. All right, phase one and two are now complete. Phase three, finish out the runway. Phase four begins right now, which is to begin hoeing things. And then phase five will be going back through everything and actually lighting it up because crops grow quicker when lit. Yeah, all right, let's get these things planted for phase six or whatever phase I'm on. I don't even remember at this point. Now that that's all expanded, now all the carrots we sell are actual profit. So each one's about 500. So, uh, I shouldn't have done that because I need some to replant. That's okay. Wow, look how big this thing's getting. And that gives us more money. That way we can actually start, you know, buying the wood instead of getting it like a noob, which would mean farming the wood. All right, we have a massive amounts of wood now. We have a, another potential area for a room coming in right here, here, here. We have a, another potential area for a room coming in right here, here. This one's gonna have an angular entrance, which will be a little bit exotic. And then and I want to actually do all fences here so that each one of these feels just a little different than the last. And that's how you're going to walk in just like that. So what I want to do is create one of the actual first mini games here in Funland, which is how we're going to make some money. And that mini game is going to be over here. We're going to try to allow people to shoot their arrows at a wall and whatever they hit, they get something along those lines. Let's do it right here. And then we need a roof and I would love to use leaves, but I don't have any. And I also don't have shears. It's, it's really crazy when you think about it. You go to make a build and then you got to do a thousand things to get to the point where you can actually make the build that you want to build. All that, just so I can go back and then destroy a tree and absolutely ravage this thing. Just so I get just the bare minimum number of leaves. We don't cut corners here at fun and fun build. There we go. Now that's beautiful. Maybe a little bit more greenery in here to make it look a little better. All right, finally, back wall. We need to get cows because we need to get leather. And so I wonder if there's any cow spawners for sale. Cheapest ones I see are going for about 16,000 each. I'll buy three of these. So with these cow spawners, I can put these inside my farm. Honestly though, my farm should honestly probably be down here because that way I have all my spawning stuff is one location. Yeah, if you missed what I did down here, you definitely need to check out last episode. We sure have been transforming this. I want all my stuff that requires a lot of waiting and grinding to be down here. So go ahead and buy. Oh, hello. I just wanted to check on what you were doing, Zach. The rainbow sheep farm is complete. Oh, is it? Okay. Yep. Exciting. I'm gonna I'm pop over and see that in a second. I'm working on making a little farm down here for mobs. Hold on a minute. I thought I told you to make a tree farm. Why are you down here? Because I need to get leather to build one of the things in the tree farm. Zach, I have a cow farm and I can tell you right now, uh, they only spawn on grass. Oh, my friend. And I literally have one already. You could have just borrowed it, man. Next time, talk to your neighbor. For me, like, I feel like embarrassed if I would have to like walk over there. You know what I mean? Like, I'd be like embarrassing. Wow. I mean, I would not want to be these cows, dude. Why did you build it in a cave? Well, because it's Industrial Avenue. This is how they are in real life. Oh my gosh, he's fat factory farming them down here. Oh, look at that. We already got a pig out here. Wait, Isaac, look, look, ready? Oh my gosh, how many cow farms did you buy? How about that? Now, hopefully these give us leather, do they? Oh, they do. That's what I needed. Let's go, baby. This is absolutely disgusting down here. These pigs will never even see daylight. They're not supposed to. They're supposed, supposed to be my fuel, my sustenance, my food. <laughs> 
Oh my gosh, get me out of this place. Anyway, I'm gonna show you what I'm building. Why don't you join me here at the uh, at the new base? Yes, I did just take a look at this. Like you've got a whole little jungle compound here. I have been working on it. It's very good. Is this little shack up here gonna be like the little dart shack? That's what I'm building right now, which is why I needed leather. Oh, cause you need item frames. That's right. I would also like to assign you the parkour core sack. Also, uh, meet Mr. Uh, this is Mr. Seed right here. Oh, how'd you get that? Uh, I just tamed him, Zach. I know you're jealous. I got a cockatiel and you don't. I don't even understand what you just said, but congratulations on your bird. I think in real life, they live like 50 years. So me and this guy are in it for the long run. Uh, yeah, I'm working on the dart game. So you need to work on your stuff and get this thing pulled together. I'm thinking, Zach, about putting an archery course off the bridge here down into the pit. I like that idea. Okay, that's what I'm going to get working on then. All right, guys, Isaac and I are starting the grind right now. I'm really working on building this thing out. I haven't fully figured out how to really make this fair yet. I think maybe like I could put water there and the water would blow the item you win towards you and then you pick it up. We need water. Ah, perfect. <laughs> All right, um, I would like to make a quick infinite water source. There we go. Little secret infinite water source. So maybe what I could do is, uh, I've never seen this done, but they shoot it with an arrow and the water flows the prize right down to them and they can win the prize at the bottom. I could kind of have it come down here. So something like that. And then maybe like I put a trap door on it and that's like becomes like a little avenue to obtain your prize. It's, I'm, I'm literally figuring this out live. So I'm not 100% I'm not sure this works. There you go. Your prize comes down. So theoretically, let's say you shoot it and you win this. This flows down. It gets stuck on the wall because I designed it incorrectly. Okay, that's fine. Okay, well that works. Not an item. Okay, that could work. That could that could be something. Let's see. Does an item actually flow through that? Oh, it does. Cool. Well, actually, that looks even better. What I'm gonna do for now is I have the ability to get heads. Since it's like National Pokemon Day, we could just supply it with a couple Pokemon. So I can literally walk up here, put a Pokemon in it. They shoot it with an arrow. The Pokemon falls. They get the Pokemon. So let's go ahead and resupply this thing. Let's see what Zach's doing. Wow, that actually looks pretty good. It's like when you go to a fair and like you win like a stuffed animal. Does that have value? You're just like, oh, that's fun, you know? Well, you want to come try my little archery thing I just set up? Yeah. So I only have one thing set up right now, but this one is basically to boost their confidence. They're going to win this most likely, but then they're going to want to go for more, Zach. Oh, I get to test it, huh? One shot, one arrow. Let's see what we got. So yeah, you just have to shoot that target. Boom! Yep, see? So they're going to win that one, Zach. Get cocky, and then we're going to get them to go even bigger on the ones that I'm going to put even further back. Very smart, very smart. All right, this place is coming together. I'm getting back to it. Now, before I add on to the next part, I said I was going to open up these two crate keys to see what I get. So I'm going to warp back there. So let's go ahead and see. Claim chunk. Literally, I already got one of these. It's still as bad as it was the first time. These are trash. Bottles of enchanting. Now that, now that I like. The majority of this today comes in as building, but I do need to take some periodic trips back to my base to make some minor improvements because there are things I can do better. Y'all told me that if you put slabs above these, they don't actually hurt you anymore. So if I were to go through and slab these up, oh, look at that. See, that's just free levels right there, bro. That's what it's about right there. Thank you everyone who submitted that idea. Y'all are champions. Another thing I wanna show you guys is that you can actually upgrade your shop. The more you upgrade it, the more items you get. So I just upgraded it to level four and I think that starts to unlock better items that we can buy. So one of those items that I'm trying to unlock at level four is the hopper. I'll be able to buy these at level four for 21,000. So it was a little expensive, but definitely worth it. Let's go ahead and get rid of those berries because they're absolute trash. Let's get some more levels. Next day. New day, which means new items and new crates for the server. We're gonna see if we can open up some dailies here and maybe get some good prizes to help us on that build. That is decent. I actually needed a new helmet, so I'll take it. And daily bow, kind of junk. We've got also two new vote items to obtain. Enchanted book, what is that? Sharpness again. In a vote ho. <laughs> it looks so weird with this new helmet on. But I like it. Oh, just some lava. Appreciate everyone who left a comment last time and said, Zach, you're being really stupid because they all need their own lava source above. So we're gonna go ahead and remedy that right now. All right, let's get back then to the base. The big focus right now is really transforming this and really upgrading the size. Yesterday it was about collecting resources. Wait a minute. Oh, there it is, baby. Oh no, that was one of the tree. See that right there, folks, is why you need to pay attention to what you're doing. You don't just come and break trees like that. That is really a lesson. No, I literally just got to rebuild it and I wasted a lot of, I mean, that, that was a disaster. Wow. <laughs> Okay, here's the thing. When you sell a base, if you build something too big and not detailed enough, people aren't gonna buy it. So we have this like little roof area over here, but we really need to create a single specific build that's incredibly detailed. And I like the idea of actually putting it on this pillar because it's so odd. We can create like a little bridge that goes over to it. And then this bridge is going to allow them to get into their main base. 
And then right in the center, a really beautiful ladder will take us right on up. And then we really need a tree, like a jungle sapling tree. I'd like to plant one here and literally build on top of this. Let me go see if I can nab us a quick tree here and plant that and get it to grow. All right, this is taking way too long. Let's just buy one from the freaking shop. All right, this is crazy. Let's just buy one. Jungle sapling. So I, I want to make it bigger. So maybe something like that. I'm not exactly sure how those are going to grow. This could be a disaster. But the good news is if I go back to my base where I have all of my stuff downstairs, we can literally get infinite bone meal down here. And that's exactly what we need to get those things to grow and see how it looks. All right, this is very important. Now, Isaac should have the wool here soon, which means he can start bringing that over. So let's go ahead and let some of these spawn. Put this in our offhand. Someone told me about that little trick. Oh, that's the wrong button. Get some bone meal here. There we go. 37 bones. Turn that into 64 plus a billion different bone meal. Take it back. And this is where hopefully things go well and don't get absolutely decimated. Let's try that. Okay, that's not ideal. That's a little better. I think that's going to work. It's, even though it's a solo tree, it's got a nice height to it, and that's going to be perfect to climb up into and actually build our first base. This will be like a little floor down here. Oh, Isaac's built an entire target up there. That's pretty sick. It's cool to combine the jungle with like all kinds of different elements. So we're going to go down here and expand the floor a little bit. And I kind of want it to be like a dual layered tree house, so it has like multiple little angles. So this is actually going to turn into... Wood. I think a circle platform would look really cool for some reason. So I'm going to try to make that. And then to me, we need to get the crafting table. So these are just gonna kind of look like little pillars that are like holding the leaves up in a way. I think that's gonna look kind of interesting. Maybe some lanterns there in the future. I'm gonna see what Isaac's up to. Isaac, I am building the main base down here. This is where they're gonna actually live, the owner of this place, if we end up selling it. Right below me. Yeah, right here. So this is gonna be a sick spot. What do you think? I like it, Zach. I am just going around with my rainbow wool that I've collected, and I'm just gonna be adding the fun to fun land, basically. Once you're done with adding the fun to fun land, let me know what you think. I'm trying to make this a really legit tree house for them. Okay. I'm really feeling like it's feeling more like Donkey Kong than fun land right now. So I'm trying to change that. That could be, well, never mind. Just if the tree looks weird, it wasn't me. Okay. All right, we're going to use some slabs here to save wood. Thank you, everyone. You told me to do this. Always, I appreciate it. Here we go. Okay, now we have a really interesting plan here, all right? So I'm going to actually extend the tree out so it looks a little bit bigger. Let's try that way back. There we go, baby. Okay, so here's what I wanted that for. If I can extend this up, and then get some leaves. Can I buy jungle leaves? I'll be so this is the top here, which is going to be the roof. And it's going to look like the tree extends up and creates this natural little canopy here, just like this. So then we can go around the edge and work on the final little tweaks here. And then this is all going to connect to the top. So the person will live in the center of this giant area where all their little mini games for this arcade shop is going to be or whatever we're saying is fun land. And I'm hoping we fetch a nice price. I don't know though. This is like Isaac's making a dropper. I mean, dude, this is, this is kind of crazy what we're building here. We've never tried anything like this. So the odds of this flopping are definitely not zero. Around the edge, I like to put some fences on these because I think it really just ties it together and looks really good because then you can have a balcony so then you have the balcony then you can work on extending the rest of the base and that we're going to build with jungle logs because i think they look sick we got strip logs let's get this going up we got the crafting table there then we can extend the back wall out like this window. This is kind of a challenging build for me because I've never really done anything like this before. <laughs> I've never built a tree house. So there's a really good chance it comes out looking terrible and I waste and we actually lose money today. But the idea is when you climb up, you'll be in this nice little area here. You've got a beautiful little window in the back peeking through. And then you've got this area, which is going to be where you can leave. But I want it to feel super jungly. So I think something like that within a roof of leaves. No, <laughs> I have to buy a few more. I was so close. All right, that's cool. Well, Isaac, what do you think of the old uh, jungle base here I'm creating? I'm liking it, Zach. I'm putting a parkour course around it. I know. This is cool. The colors come together and really stand out here among all like the basic builds, and it looks awesome. Do you notice I'm matching up the parkour with my little mini dropper right there? The layers? Oh, my God. Yeah. That's a level of detail that our sellers are going to recognize subconsciously. This was a lot of effort, let me tell you what, and I'm not even done yet, so. I like that. We're going to sell this for, what do you think? Our last one sold for 1.2 million. I don't think quite as much, just because there's not enough detail yet, but we we could get there. You're right. We're going to get there. I would like to hit two mil. I think about a million again, but we'll see. You guys, it's usually wrong on the prices. So we'll see what happens. I guess this thing just needs like a lot of detail in here to really pull it off. I do have like a jungle frame, which would look kind of cool here with like a little picture of like some local fauna, but I need to go back to my base and grab some lanterns. I don't know if I actually own any lanterns anymore, so we'll see what I have to actually eat some plants with. Nothing there. Maybe bamboo would look good out there. Some sugar cane would look good. I mean, we can definitely get, oh, definitely this. I mean, I got so many of these sweet berries, bro. This is going to go a long way. Speaking of sweet berries, I'm going to go put this stuff away where it goes. Go put this inside the new base, but before I do the big build today, and before I tell you guys what actually happened to my other brother, because I forgot to last episode, let me go ahead and get some of these placed around the edge, because I think that these are just such, for some reason, a, an enhancer when it comes to bases. I don't know why. 
Honestly, I feel like bamboo, we can do like little patches of bamboo, like little bamboo forests here and there. These will just look good as like little groupings, kind of like that. And then a big old patch of bamboo right here. So we've got two bamboo patches. We've got sweet berries everywhere. We've got sugar cane, which I'm not exactly sure where I'd want to put it yet. I mean, we don't really have any good water spots, so I'll save that and let's go get our bed. Sheesh. I'm going to die again. I know it. I better eat. A bed right there is kind of nice, but actually if I move it by the window, it becomes even better because then you get to literally look out the window when you're laying in bed, which is kind of romantic if you think about it. Oh, a smithing table. Do I need one? No. But does it look good? Yeah. Obviously you got to get your barrel in here. That's like a, that's like a key design of my builds. Barrels come in and they look good. Look at this. Barrel, barrel. Boom, boom. That's a thousand dollars right there. And I was going to do lanterns, but oh, I didn't mean to make that many. I do think torches actually will look really good because it's got that jungle vibe and jungle torches is kind of just good. It's interesting because we have this like little area here that's indented in the ground. And I, I do feel like that's got some potential to just put some stuff there. Oh, well, lanterns. Well, I guess I can make them. That's how you do it. I think a cauldron could go right here and even better, I'll put water in it. Yeah. Hey. I mean, that's a nice level of detail for a tiny little base like this. I'm pretty happy with how that came out. Maybe we'll do another two lanterns on the outside just to really get this outside vibe looking super juicy. Future buyers gonna see this, you know, or whoever comes to try to play our games. Bro, I could make bone blocks out of all of the stuff I got. And I do feel like there is some potential because these are kind of rare. I was like, I'd like you to come with me and try the new addition to Funland. All right, let's take a look. Do we need a way to get there from here? I have the perfect solution right here. I'll just connect it into the parkour right here. Well, we could connect to the ladder. Why don't we connect both ways to the ladder and over this way? All right, I'll do the parkour connection. I can do that real easily. Because then this makes this like a nice central hub. People aren't going to buy it if it's annoying, right? They're not going to play it. They're not going to be able to get around. Dude, that's perfect. Can you make that jump? I think you can. Yes. And yes, but then you have to be able to get out of the dropper. Yeah, that's this way. Oh, you parkour up like this. Yep. Watch this. This is actually the new addition. So perfect. You can try it out now. Oh, oh, God. Uh, let's try that again. So you go up to here and then you can go around the parkour, which is very easy, as Isaac said. Oh, oh. It's not bad. It's like, oh God, it's just hard enough that like you clench your butt a little bit each jump. Oh. Yeah, I mean, I did it first try. I think you just got to go with it, Zach. I'm like kind of, I'm stressed, dude. This makes me stress out a little bit. Now, see, I built it so you didn't have to stop on every jump. I think you can just keep jumping and you'll get it. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Oh, there we go. That is nice. It really connects good. I like the flow it has. This this area is coming together. It is. And this, this is our target shooting platform for the target mini game. Oh, I like this. I just feel like we named this place Funland, Zach. It's got to be more fun. Let's switch places. I'll take this area. I'll start working on the next fun game. Now you take over working on adding to builds and detailing it, making it look sellable. Okay. I got an idea. You guys know when you go to like actual fairs and they got like them little water bottle squirters and you like squirt in a clown's mouth and you get stuff and like it's usually a scam and that you lose and then they're like you win a prize no matter what and then you go get a prize and it's like a two dollar necklace but it costs you 10 to play. That's what I'll be making next. I don't think you've ever seen a water bottle squirter quite like this. The, the design's design going to be very human. human. The carnies will be here. They're going to sell you on this and you're going to do it. But you're not going to know what else to do because you can't walk away. We'll add one more layer here and I'm going to keep the carny having a... Oh no. We're basically out of locks. I guess I could use bone blocks. You're going to sit here and then inside of each of these, what I'm going to need to get is item frames and crossbows. And then I need target blocks. I need wool. I need redstone. Okay. I need like literally a crap ton of stuff. So let's go gather our supplies. Eight item frames done. We need wool. Isaac does have a sheep farm and I don't think he would mind if we went there and like just kind of ravaged it a little bit. Let's go visit Isaac's base really quick. Oh, <laughs> He's here. What are you doing here, buddy? Right, I'm just coming back for some more wool. What? The real question is, what are you doing in my base? Well, I was coming for some wool too. I'm not going to lie. I need a little bit of red and white. You're stealing my sheep. I wonder why they were all sheared. Uh, they weren't from me. I just got here. Oh, okay. Maybe it's just from earlier. I'll collect more later. I, I also stole your target blocks, but I needed them. Oh, okay. Now that we have this, we can go back into our base up here and these go here. Those are the crossbows go. I need like a lot more red, to be honest with you. Like this is not going to be enough. So we'll, we'll stick with bone at the bottom. Target blocks for the players to be aiming for. And let's use leaves. Okay, so like that's kind of what you're aiming at. Oh, you know what? Wait a minute. I'm just going to buy the wool, bro. This is so much better of an idea. Yeah, that's, that's not even bad. That's not even a bad price. All right, I'm going to buy the wool. A few white banners. Maybe that's too many. Stack of roses. Dying banners go in. I'm going to create this. Some would say that's a little bit too much, and I would happen to agree with you that it probably is. See, that looks good. It gives it like this nice little carny vibe, I feel like, and that's kind of what we're looking for here. So we have white on the bottom, red up top, two layers, so we have enough rooftop space, and then for the very actual roof, we'll come in and we'll hit it with a nice little pattern. Like that literally makes it look like the front of an actual carny shop, like you're inside of like some place. You never know when you start a build if it's going to look good, but sometimes it really does come together in a nice way. All right, we've grabbed a couple of end rods here because I also wanted to give it like a, I don't know, bro. They always got like these annoying lights and crap everywhere when you're at one of these places. That's not bad. Okay, the side of this looks terrible, actually. That looks really bad on the side. I need to fix that. I guess the, the leaf idea, the leaves on the side is not going to work here. 
I do think the jungle floor is okay, but it's really not my favorite. I'm actually gonna put slabs in here. I don't know, I thought it would look good, but pretty much everything I don't like, so I'm changing it all. That I like better. Okay, we need crossbows now, and I don't even know how to make those. What the crap? I need sticks, iron, string, tripwire hook? Bro, I don't even know how to make a tripwire hook. All right, let's see if I can figure this out. Ah, okay, tripwire hook. Why can I not do it now? What else do I need? Oh, I can. I need four of them, not two. We're short on iron. That's what we're short on, iron. All right, let's buy some. Finally, bro, that took so freaking long to figure this out. Okay, this is where the build finally comes together. The final result's really worth it because you can come in here and on my server play.loverfella.com we made it so if you right click on items they item frame disappears because it like looks cool and there you have it a minecraft carnival water squirting game where you shoot these and it goes up those little pillars and you can win little cool prizes i think this turned out cool let's see what isaac thinks though. isaac you will not believe what i went through to build what i just built what'd you build come take a look oh look at this it looks good though look at the banners oh the banners you must have looked that up no no it was easy it was just one banner thing just red i thought of it did it that is pretty good looking you take your crossbow and you shoot it and it, it's like those balloon games where carnival people make you slow up. Oh, we have to like get the water in the center to blow up the balloon? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Does it actually work though? No, no, it's just, no, it completely doesn't work. Yeah. Well, I'm working on the swimming pool down low. Okay, very cool. The base is coming along. We just need to add a few more touches. A lot more touches, but it's coming together. It just seems like details really because everything looks too flat. Exactly. I'm working my way up after I do the pool, so it'll only get better. So here's how I like to do details. I like to go into the Minecraft shop, go to decorative blocks, and just look for literally anything that could potentially add some detail. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Let's be smart. Let's go see what I can craft in my base, then we'll buy what I need. This is a little bit of a resupply here, coming back with some new designs. So we've got paintings to put down, which will look a little cooler. Maybe we could put it in the back and look a little better. Now I want to give this guy more crafting. I talked about making an area back here, so I'm going to give him a loom. I'm going to give him some more barrel storage right here, and then I'm going to also give him some composter. This is really a key part of the build, getting all the deets right. And I don't really know where these composters are going to go because they're kind of just random little details that don't necessarily do a lot. I don't know why I came down here, but I felt like composters in the tree would look kind of interesting. You don't see that too often, little tree composters. Uh, while I'm here, I might as well just make a staircase down. Because what would be really interesting to me is if I actually created like something really interesting here, which would be like a rooftop farm. Not something you see particularly often in Minecraft, however, something quite interesting. That's really cool. We've got these barrels here as well for more details in some of these areas. So those barrels in there kind of add to a little carny vibe a little bit. This uh, leaves us with six more to place. Somehow I actually have more than I need. I can put them right down there. So now you got this little barrel thing that kind of looks like wine barrels right on the back of this, which is just, it's just a cool detail. I could take this to the next level and literally make this look like a little honey farm. And these have like little taps on them. Sometimes the ideas just hit you man out of nowhere. That's what I'm talking about right there. So you give these little taps, that looks really good. And then I don't know if I can buy scaffolding and I also don't know how to make scaffolding. How to make scaffolding, Minecraft. Bamboo and string. We've got the string and I know I planted enough bamboo to be able to make it, so nice. It's almost like I prepared myself for this moment. All right, that'll do. So these end up looking like little taps here, which just makes it look really fun. Like you could have your favorite drink in here, but I guess they can't go on top of leaves, so I'll have to fix that. Why not? That's fun, dude. And then put some berries on top so you know what's inside. It is a berry brew and it is delicious. I'm gonna put some lids on these as well. That way you can kind of open a few of them and uh, access the insides very conveniently. Very nice and fun. Look at that. I've never used a trap door like that. Everything that I just did here just randomly came. It has nothing to do with making it a carnival. I'm not gonna lie to you. In fact, I don't even remember what my game goal was. Oh, right. I was placing items from the decoration shop. Flower pots. This would go a long way. And let's get the details with the bamboo. Boom, boom. Too much bamboo? No, there's never too much bamboo. I got 64 pots and I'm gonna use them. It cost me $8,000. So we have now placed bamboo virtually everywhere. Just a nice little detail, but as you see it, it just makes you feel premium. Now we're gonna place more bamboo downside of this base right here because it needs more details and it don't look right without it. We haven't seen Isaac's pool yet. So guys. Oh, that's pretty fun. <laughs> I like the tiki torches, which need bamboo, of course. Bamboo needed here, and bamboo also needed here. It gives it a very zen vibe, really, just having bamboo everywhere. And this back wall needs bamboo. Bamboo. And then I'm adding just little detailed decorations outside, little groupings of three or four bamboo in a corner. Uh, just because I feel like it looks kind of cool to have these on the ground everywhere. <laughs> I don't know. It looks really purposeful. All right, we have literally placed 64 pots of bamboo down literally everywhere that I could possibly imagine. And it did add some life to the place. It made it look a little better, I feel like, but uh, it still needs a lot more detail here, especially this bridge. Something about the bridge feels off. Isaac, I have gone through and added over 64 bamboos with bamboo pots, and it looks so nice now. I just said that. I like the way they look. They're really adding the ambiance to the place, Zach. Yeah. I have added three diving boards, including the new high jump I have just installed, if you'd like to try. Okay, let's see what you got then. Oh, it is so hard. You have to hit that little V there. I'm going to keep doing it until I get it to make sure it's possible. 
Oh, I just got it. That was easy. Oh, yeah. See? Perfect. The biggest issue to me is the bridge. The big bridge is like the focal point. And it looks so bad. Yeah. You got to fix the fencing. Just put a new line on the wall and you'll be good. Rebuild it. I don't know how to do it. That's the problem. You just got to use a different block. Like you just shouldn't use fence. I'll help tear it out. It actually looks better already, to be honest, without anything. It needs more. It needs like to be like a, an art piece almost. I think maybe we just do leaves on the side. Let's try it. That's way better already. Bamboo pull lights. Okay, some torches on top, you think? Yeah. Um, maybe some trap door, Zach, on the outside of the leaves would look good. Oh, yeah, that looks pretty good. Why don't we do one quick sweep of final details, all right? Final final cleanup, and then get this bad boy in the market. The bridge is officially done. That looks good. I think that base down there, that little house, but this just needs a little outside texture, doesn't it? It does need some work. I'm just going to be honest. Look at this, I made a new entrance in. I'm not exactly sure why, but if you do happen to get stuck from falling out of your treehouse base, you have a nice new way to get up. Oh yeah, look at that. I think you gotta put leaves along the edge of this. That's what I'm about to do, actually. Yes, sir. What I'm gonna do is uh, add more leaves around the border of this. I think that's gonna pull it together. I think that maybe is one of the reasons it seems to appear so flat, because it doesn't exactly blend into the natural environment, Eddie. What do you think of this? Oh yeah, I'm actually looking at it from up here, Zach. Aerial view, it is looking pretty clean. Oh. Oh, good. That's what we want to hear. The next day. Guys, Isaac and I have been working for the last, I don't know, 24 hours on adding details to this base. We've added so many things like detailed roofs and just, I don't know. I feel like it honestly looks pretty incredible. We added stairs. We connected things. Isaac, what else did we do here that's just mind blowing? I yeah. took the enchanting table from my house and brought it here just to sell this. Look at this little area. I mean, did you show them the little VIP section? Yeah. Now, if you notice, Isaac's name's George Lopez. Mine's Fat Boy because again, we have the power to switch our usernames to sell this so nobody knows who we actually are. So Isaac, what do you think we should sell it? For. I really do think we should try to get a million out of this again, Zach. I know this sounds crazy, but I'm actually going to be price anchoring at 5 million. 5 million? You know what? That's fine, though, because if they come back down, we're still fine. I, f I genuinely feel like this is a 5 million base. We spent almost three days on this. Probably, I mean, we spent so long collecting stuff. We literally built farms just to get the wool for this. You know, Zach, I got to say, we're making a lot of money, but if you notice, we built two bases that are way better than our own. We have. We built two bases that are much better than our own, but that gave us the money to be able to build ourselves mega bases, hopefully soon. Diamond block base coming in. All right, let's go ahead and get this sent out. Selling mega base, 5 million rich players only. Let's go ahead and get some people in here. Puma Panda has 4 million. Give him, give him, uh, give him some space. Give him some space. I just DM'd him. I was like, how do you like it? You know, this is a potential future base for you. Very cool, but never going to make me back 5 mil. Dude, lower that, lower that, lower that. I could offer skin dexes worth 5 million. Whoa, 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 whoa. This, this is a weird trade. I've never traded a base for rare skins, but this could be worth money. We would just have to sell them to get our money back. Can I see them? Or I will do 3 million cash. He said, someone just offered a lot for my shield. No, 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 I'd take 2 million. I told this guy 3 million in this years. We'll see what he does. I'm negotiating so hard right now. Okay, you keep doing that, Zach. I'm going to keep getting our advertisements out there just in case we get a big boy coming in. <laughs> <laughs> no, wait, don't spam it. Don't spam it. Oh, crap. Because no one else can spam. Only people that have OP can spam. Bam me. <laughs> oh, no. Bam me. People know it's you. People are going to know. We can't spam. It's a mistake, guys. We can bypass the chat filter. Bro, that's worth 250 max, Zach. That's what somebody just told me. We have got to sell this thing now. No, Isaac, you ruined everything. People are destroying. It. I didn't know. No, people are going to start saying it's worthless now. He just said, don't worry about it. It's not worth two. No. <laughs> oh, gosh, I ruined it. He just said, no, everyone said it's not worth two mil and he's not going to buy it now. Isaac, what have you done? Zach banned me. No. All this work could be for nothing. Zach, we can't have this in the video at this point. No, this is going in the video. People need to know what you have done. The next day. Day two of trying to sell the base. Here we go. I'm going to write something really long. Hi, guys. I am Amish. Trust me, guys. This is something I used to do. I am only allowed to play video games for one <laughs> year, and then I have to go back to being Amish again. All right, all right, let's see if that works. Let's see if that works. Come on, baby. Dude offered me half a million. We're getting to the point where we kind of got to take whatever. We're in the works. Price anchor high. Hold on, I'm gonna lie to him, real dagger. Sorry, I got an offer for 1.9 million. I will only sell if you do to Selling now, sorry. I like that. <laughs> he said good luck with that. Zach, go back to your former career as a car salesman and sell this base. I never did that as a job. They don't know that. Well, I got an offer of 2.1 from Dog Cat, man. Sell it. 
Sell it now. Who has a Steve skin on? Sell it now. Message dog cat man. I'll sell for 2.1 mil. Oh, Zach, sell it now. He said JK. Zach, sell it. He said 2.1 million JK. Okay, hold on. Dog cat man. Does he even have that money? He has 7 million. Message dog cat man. I'll do it for 1.8. Sell it now, Zach. You better sell this base now. 1.5. I'll take it. Accept it. Dog cat man. Well, accept it. I'll do, I'll, it's less than I wanted, but I'll take it. I'll take it. He's not moving. I think that's always a good sign, but we'll see. Bro, he actually bought it. Bro, he sent 1.5 million, but for some reason, it's not refreshing on our GUI. But if I do balance of Jimmy, it shows as 1.5 million. He just called me a scammer. Bro, actually bought the base. Finally, you guys like this. Don't forget to click here to watch our next episode and I'll see you guys later. Peace.